Good day everyone. Today I will discuss the lesson 1 in business marketing which is the marketing customer value engagement. In this lesson, the learning outcomes are as follows. Define marketing and outline the steps in marketing process. Explain the importance of understanding the marketplace and the customers and identify the five core marketplace concepts. Identify the key elements of a customer-driven marketing strategy and discuss the marketing management or orientation that guide marketing strategy. Discuss customer relationship management and identify strategies for creating value for customers and capturing value from customers in return. And describe the major trends and forces that are changing the market landscape in this age of relationship. Okay, what is marketing? More than any other business functions will deals with customers, although we will soon explore more detailed definition of marketing. Perhaps the simplest definition is this. Marketing is engaging customers and managing profitable customer relationship. The twofold goal of marketing is to attract new customers by promising superior value to keep and grow current customer by delivering satisfaction. For example, McDonald's fulfill its I'm loving it motto by being our customer's favorite place and way to eat the world over, giving it nearly as much market share at its nearest for competitors combined. There are five steps marketing process. One is understand the marketplace and the customer needs and wants. Second is to design a customer value-driven marketing strategy. Third, construct an integrated marketing program that delivers value. Fourth, profitable relationship and create customer delight. And fifth, capture value from customers to create profits and customer equity. Customer needs, wants, and demands. The most basic concept underlying marketing is that of human needs. Human needs are states of felt deprivation. They include basic physical needs for food, clothing, warmth, and safety. Social needs for belonging and affection and individual needs for knowledge and self-expressions. Marketers did not create these needs. They are basic part of human makeup. Once are the form of human needs take as they are shaped by culture and individual personality. Market offerings, products, services, and experiences. Consumers' needs and wants are fulfilled through market offerings, some combination of products, services, information, or experiences offered to a market to satisf satisfy a need or a want. Market offerings are not limited to physical product. They are also include services, activities, or benefits over offered for sale that are essentially intangible and then do not result in the ownership of anything. Examples include banking, airline, hotel, retailing, and home service repair. Marketing Management Orientation There are five alternative concepts under which organizations design and carry out their marketing strategy. The production, the product, selling, marketing, and societal marketing concept. The production concept holds that consumers will favor products that are available and highly affordable. Therefore, management should focus on improving production and distribution efficiency. This concept is one of the oldest orientations that guide sellers. The production concept is still used for philosophy in some situation. For example, both personal computer maker Lenovo and home appliances maker to dominate the higher competitive price sensitive Chinese market through low level cost, high production efficiency, and mass distribution. The product concept holds that cost cons consumer will follow 
or favor products that offer the most in quality, performance, and innovative features. Under this concept, marketing strategy focuses on making continuous product improvements. Product quality and improvements are also part of most marketing strategy. However, focusing only in the company's products can also lead to marketing may mopia. For example, some manufacturers believe that if they can build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path of their doors. But they are often rudely shocked. Buyers may be looking for a better solution to a mouse problem, but not necessary for a better mousetrap. The better solution might be a chemical spray or exterminating service, a house cat, or something else that suits their needs even better than the mousetrap. Furthermore, a better mousetrap will not use unless the manufacturer design packages and prices is attractively the selling concept many companies follow the selling concept which holds that consumers will not buy enough of the firm's product unless it undertakes a large-scale selling and promotion effort the selling concept is typically practiced with unsoft goods those that buyers do not normally think of buying such as life insurance or blood donation this industry must be good at tracking down prospects and selling them into product benefits. The marketing concept holds that achieving organizational goals depends on knowing the needs and wants of the target market and delivering the desired satisfaction better than competitors do. Under the marketing concept, customer focus and value are the paths to sales and profit. Instead of product-centered make-and-sell philosophy, the marketing concept is customer-centered sense and respond philosophy. The job is not to find the right customer for your product, but to find the right product for your customer. The social, social uh, marketing concept is whether the pure marketing concept overlooks possible conflicts between consumer short run once and consumer long run welfare it is a firm that satisfies the immediate needs and wants of a target market always doing what best for its consumers in the long run the societal marketing concept holds that marketing strategies should deliver value to customers in a way that maintains or improve both the consumers and the society's well-being it calls for sustainable marketing socially, environmentally responsible marketing that meets the present needs of the customers and businesses while also preserving or enhancing the ability of future generations to, be, to meet their needs. Preparing an Integrated Marketing Plan Program the market, uh, company's marketing strategy outlines which customers is served and how it will create value for these customers next the marketers develop an integrated marketing program that will actually deliver the intended value to target customers the marketing program builds customer relationship by transforming the marketing strategy into action it consists of the firm's marketing mix the set of marketing tools and to implement its marketing strategy the major marketing mix tools are classified into four broad groups called the four P's or the marketing product, price, place, and promotion. To deliver on its value proposition, the firm must first create a need satisfy, satisfying market offering, the product. It must then decide how much it charge for offering and how it will make the offering available to target consumers. Finally, it must engage target consumers, communicate about the offering, and pursue customers at the offer's merit. The firm must blend each marketing mix tool into a comprehensive integrated marketing program that communicates and delivers the intended value to chosen customers. 
we will explore marketing program and marketing mix and much more details in this lesson. Building customer relationship. The first three step in marketing process is under understanding the marketplace and the consumer's needs, designing a customer value driven marketing strategy, and constructing a marketing program. All lead up to fourth and most important step, building and managing profitable customer relationship. We first discuss the basic of customer relationship management or the CRM. Then we ex examine how companies go about engaging customer on a deep, deeper level in this age of digital and social marketing. What is CRM or the customer relations management? Perhaps the most important concept of modern marketing. It is the broadest sense, cost, customer relations management, is the overall process of building and maintaining profitable customer relationship by delivering superior customer value and satisfaction. It deals with all aspects of acquiring, engaging, and growing customer. Relationship Building Blocks the key of building lasting customer relationship is to create superior customer value and satisfaction. Satis satisfied customers are more likely to be loyal customers and give the company a larger share of their business. Customer value, attracting and retailing customers can be a difficult task. Customer often a phase of bewildering array of products and services from which to choose. A company Customer buys from the firm that offers the highest customer perceived value. The customer's evaluation of the difference between all the benefits and all the cost of market offering relative to those competing offers. Importantly, customers often do not judge value and cost accurately or objectively. They act on perceived value. The customer satisfaction depends on the product's perceived performance rel relative to a buyer's expectations. If the product performance falls short of expectations, the customer is dissatisfied. If performance matches expectation, the customer is satisfied. If performance exists, exceeds expectations, the customer is highly satisfied or delighted. Outstanding marketing companies go out of their way to keep important customers satisfied. Customer relationship levels and tools. Companies can build customer relationship at many levels, depending on the nature of the target market. At one extreme, a company with many low margin customer may seek to develop basic relationship with them. For example, Procter & Gamble, Thai detergent does not phone or call on all of its consumers to get to know them personally. Instead, the Thai creates engagement and the relationship through brand building advertising. Websites and social media presence at the other extreme in the markets with few customer and high margin sellers want to create full partnership with key customer customer engagement and today's digital and social media the digital age has spawned in a dazzling set of new customer relationship building tools from websites online ads and videos mobile ads and apps and blogs so online communities and the major social media such as Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Yesterday's company focused mostly on the mass marketing to broad segments of customers and arms length. By contrast, today's companies are using online, mobile, and social media to refine their targeting and to engage customers more deeply and interactively. The old marketing involved marketing brands to consumers. The new marketing is cost customer engagement marketing, fostering direct and continuous customer involvement in shaping brand conversation, brand experiences, and brand community. 
customer engagement marketing goes beyond just selling a brand to customer. It's a goal to make the brand meaningful part of consumers' conversation and lives. The burgeoning internet and the social media have given a huge boost to customer engagement marketing. Today, consumers are better informed, more connected, and more empowered than ever before. Newly empowered customers have more information about brand and they have wealth of digital platforms for airing and sharing their brand views with others. Marketers are now embracing not only customer relations management, but also customer managed relationship, in which customers connect with companies and with others to help forge their own brand experiences. Making the brand a meaningful part of consumers' conversation and lives by fostering direct and continuous customer involvement in shaping brand conversation, experiences, and community. Brand exchanges created by consumers themselves, both invited and invited, by which consumers are playing an increasingly role in shaping their own brand experience and those of other consumers. Creating customer loyalty and retention. Good customer relationship management creates customer satisfaction. In turn, Satisfied customers remain loyal and talk favorable to others about the company and its product. Studies show big differences in the loyalty of customers who are less satisfied, somewhat satisfied, and completely satisfied. Even a slight drop from complete satisfaction can create an enormous drop in loyalty. The aim of customer relationship management is to create not only customer satisfaction, but also customer delight. Keeping customers loyal makes a good economic sense. Loyal customers spend more and stay around longer. Research also shows that it's five times cheaper to keep an old customer than acquire a new one. Customer defections can be costly. Losing a customer means losing more than a single sale. It means losing the entire stream of purchases that the customer would make over a lifetime of patronage. Beyond sim simply retaining good customer is to capture customer lifetime value. Good customer relationship management can help marketers increase their share of customer and the share they get to the customer purchasing and their product categories. Building customer equity. We can now see the importance of not only acquiring customer but also keeping and growing them. The value of a company comes from the value of its current and the future customer. Customer relation management takes a long view. Companies want not only to create profitable customer but also own them for life, earn a greater share of their purchases, and capture their customer lifetime value. The ultimate aim of the customer relationship management is to produce high customer's equity. Customer equity is the total combined customer lifetime values of all of the current company's current and potential customer. As such, it is a measure of the future value of the company's customer base. Clearly, the more loyal the firm's profitable customer, the higher is the customer equity. Customer equity may be better measure of a firm's performance than current sales or the market shares. The changing marketing landscape. Every day, dramatic changes are occurring in the marketplace. The pace of change is so rapid and the ability to change has now become a competitive advantage. As the marketplace changes, so must those who serve it. In this section, we explain, examine the major trends and forces that changing the marketing lands, landscape and challenging marketing strategy. We we'll look at the five major developments, the digital age, the changing economic environment, the growth of net for profit money marketing, rapid globalization, and the call for all ethics and social responsibility. 
About the digital age, the online mobile and the social media marketing, the explosive growth in the digital technology has fundamental change the way we live, how we communicate, share information, access entertainment, and shop. An estimated 3 billion people, 40% of the world's population are now online. Nearly half of the American adults now own smartphone. 54% of those adults use their smartphone and other mobile devices to access social media sites. This number will only grow as digital technology, technology rockets in the future. Digital and social media marketing involves using digital marketing tools such as website, social media, mobile ads, and apps, online media, email, blogs, and other digital platforms that engage consumer anywhere, anytime via their computer, smart, smartphone, tablets, TVs, and other digital devices. These days, it seems that every company is reaching out to customer with multiple websites. New C tweets and Facebook pages as viral ads and videos posted on YouTube, rich media, emails, and mobile apps that solve consumer problems and help them shop. The social media marketing is hard to find a brand website or even a traditional media ad that doesn't feature links to the brand Facebook, Twitter, Google, Link, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, or other social media sites. Social media provide exciting opportunities to extend customer engagement and get people talking about a brand. The mobile marketing is perhaps the fastest growing digital marketing platform. 29% of smartphone owners use their phones for shopping related activities. The browsing product information through apps or the mobile web making a store price comparison Reading online product reviews, finding and redeeming coupons, and more. 36 smartphones are very present, always on finely targeted and highly personal. This makes them ideal for engaging customers anytime, anywhere as they move through the buying process. And that's all for today. Thank you. Good day everyone. Today I will discuss the lesson 1 and business